Hello there, this is Dateline Lagos. Greater portion of this week's edition of Dateline Lagos will focus on youth empowerment and their role in building sustainable peace as the world celebrates the International Youth Day. 2,000 people living with disabilities in Lagos get grants and mobility aids. The implementation of Lagos State Transport Reform in Tizon as Governor Ambode reveals plans to roll out first set of 5,000 new commercial buses in six months. And the Lagos State Infrastructure Maintenance and Regulatory Agency takes tough stand on the standard of communication infrastructure in the state. Welcome to the program. I'm Loretta Chiogo. We'll begin with the socio-economic development. Discrimination is one of the many challenges faced by people living with disabilities. But that has changed over time as societies evolve with technology. The focus of the Lagos State Policy on Inclusive Government is to treat all equally. At least 2,000 persons living with disabilities have been empowered with mobility aids and grants to enable them become economically viable and function effectively in the society. Lagos State will partner with every one of you. In 2016, Governor Akiumi Ambori established a 500 million Naira Trust Fund for the welfare of persons living with disabilities, BWDs, in Lagos State. Following that, the government inaugurated a board to ensure judicious management of that fund. The fund is now ready and 2,000 persons living with disabilities and non-governmental organizations involved in taking care of such categories of people are listed to be empowered through the fund with financial grants, assistive technologies and mobility aids. <laughs> Items distributed include one Hyundai 12-seater minibus, one 30-seater bus, 500 white canes, one Index Express Embosser with Duxbury Braille translation software, 10 accessible desktop computers with JAWS screen reader, 20 tactile metric sets, 100 tailor frames, 60 magic white boards, 6 magnetic boards, 300 wheelchairs, 50 special wheelchairs, and 25 laptop computers for people living with hearing impairment. In addition, 10 NGOs dealing with issues of disability in the state were given 500,000 Naira each as grants, while 500 people with disabilities received 100,000 Naira each as financial empowerment. With this, the state government continues its desire to ensure that no one is denied of dividends of democracy. It has been a cardinal point, an objective of this administration, to ensure that PWDs are not left behind in any way and their rights and interests are protected and promoted through policies and programs of the state government in line with the principle of social inclusion and mainstream policy. These items are meant to enhance their productivity and facilitate their contribution to the socio-economic development of the state. Our focus is to move away from the previous charitable orientation of empowerment towards a more socially and economically oriented approach of enablement that will make people living with disabilities become wealth creators and employers of labor. For the first phase of the, the program, we are presenting vehicles, equipment, funds to enable individuals Homes and NGO take charge of their futures, of their future, start businesses and create wealth for themselves. The deputy governor uses the occasion to reveal that the state government is almost including plans to employ people living with disabilities into the state civil service. 250 people with disabilities will soon receive letters of employment into the state civil service, as well as local government and local council development areas across the state. 
While congratulating the beneficiaries, Dr. Adewule urged them to make judicious use of the items they have received. Work hard and be dedicated to your enterprise. Your success will go a long way in changing the perception of those who are skeptical about your ability. Thank you. Thank you. Some of the beneficiaries consider the empowerment a life-changing opportunity. You have your, she have her own catering shop already. So she just needs a loan for the business to grow. So they are giving 100,000 naira yes, to start the business with the material. In the aspect of employment, we've had a lot of people with disabilities being taken into different parastatals and um, um, departments of the Lagos State Government, which is very beautiful, which, you know, takes people off street, takes them off begging, takes them off dependent on, on family. And they've also, you know, done some empowerment with equipment for students, with transportation system for, for you know, students with disability. This is really, really beautiful, you know. It's, it's like heaven on earth, you know. Having an inclusive government is beautiful. I want to use this mobile to say thank you very much to the Lagos State no, Government. It's one of its kind. I want to say it's a father. It's a leg to the lame, an eye to the blind, a support to the weak. It's 2,000 beneficiaries in the first phase. The second phase could be more. While it is leading the way on the welfare of persons living with disabilities, the Lagos State Government admits that it would require support from individuals, private and corporate entities to boost the trust fund.